first day of what will be an annual event, a uh, campus-wide undergraduate research festival. The purpose is to spread a research culture from the several departments where it is departmentally across the school. Now there are things you learn by doing research you cannot learn any other way. Independent undergraduate research is different from what they did in the classroom because it's more self-driven and they get to pretty much pick their research project and tailor it to their own interest and then I think that creates more of an excitement for them. It's not for someone else, it's truly for their own um, to, to benefit themselves. So again, it's their own delving, it's their own reading and um, they get guidance in it, they get to talk to someone about it, but it's to pursue really their own curiosity. I like it because I think that in the classroom sometimes, well usually, it's kind of second hand, you know, you get to read from a book and you get to learn from a professor and so um, you're kind of the next point that it hits. But with this research, it's interesting because we get to be the starting point and we get to draw all of our resources together and make our own conclusions and, um, and it helps to, for it to stick with me. It's been very fun. We've had a lot of fun getting our research together and actually doing the research with the kids because um, we did work with the school so we got to work with the kids and see them grow and learn and that was a lot of fun. That was probably the most fun part, but then to see it put into numbers and to words, that was kind of cool too. So basically what we're doing is we're building a um, time projection chamber that's going to take some measurements that make building nuclear power plants cheaper. This past summer I did a research project on uh, some of the rural smallholder farmers in northwestern Zambia. Over the summer I did research at Brookhaven National Laboratory. I did the research on Venezuela relation with the United States. Hello, my name is Kendra Gregory and uh, I work in the Agricultural and Environmental Science Department and also the Spanish Department. My project was looking at the agronomic performance of tropical forage legumes for dairy production uh, supplement feed. I'm kind of interested in this because um, I did a lot of missionary work in high school with my parents and I went to Haiti a lot and actually um, it was a medical missions trip and my mother's an RN, but what touched me the most in those trips was not the medical needs of the people, that did touch me, but I was more aware of the environmental devastation there which caused such a, a decrease in agricultural capacity, so people were starving. And the reason they were starving is because they completely destroyed the environment of their, um, their country. And so I find it fascinating and a, a very, very worthwhile investment of time and energy to help people in developing countries uh, increase their agricultural capacity, which will help increase uh, nutrition.